Let's begin now by telling you that the House of Representatives has given the Nigerian army approval to carry out Operation Positive Identification, yes, OPI, with other relevant security agencies. The Green Chamber had initially kicked against the operation, which was initially scheduled to commence on the 1st of November 2019 across the country, saying that it would strip Nigerians of their constitutionally guaranteed freedom of movement. But what changed? Well, the House approved the operation following the report of its Committee on Army on the operation, which was laid before the House at plenary on Thursday by its chairman, Honorable Abdul Razak Namdez. According to the report, the Army can continue with the operation positive identification, but in collaboration with other relevant security agencies, such as Nigeria Immigration Service and the Nigeria Police Force, who should take the lead in the identification process. actually started on the 22nd of September 2019, not even 1st of November. Mr. Chairman, the reason for the post operation possible identification, as stated by the Army, was that they had credible information that insurgents and particularly Boko Haram commanders are hibernating or staying within the Northeast zone. And therefore, this operation started with the theater commander Operation Lafayette Adoli. And uh, they've successfully arrested a very senior Boko Haram uh, commander who was earlier on, uh, pictures were circulated um, with other commanders some few years back. And that informed that. And uh, the army stated, Mr. Chairman, that uh, they had to extend it to the south and the southeast because they had credible information that uh, due to the bombardments by the military in the northeast, uh, the Boko Haram, Boko Haram commanders have started relocating to other parts of the country. Let's now check out some other stories we are following for you on our political roundup. The Independent National Electoral Commission has begun distributing voting materials to the local government areas across Kogi State ahead of the governorship and Kogi West Senatorial polls. The resident electoral commissioner in the state, Professor James Apam, says everything was going on as planned and expressed the hope that the conduct of the elections would be hitch free. The organized labor in Kogi State has declared support for the candidacy of Governor Yahya Bello. The workers' delegation comprising the Nigeria Labour Congress, the Trade Union Congress, teachers and local government employees say they hope it will enable him to consolidate on his achievements in the last four years. Addressing the labour unions in Lokoja, the state capital, Governor Bello promised that workers' salaries and welfare will remain topmost in the agenda of his administration. The journey of making this state great has started. We are only going to be our part, myself and you. The leadership of the All Progressives Congress in Edo State have confirmed the suspension of the national chairman of the party, Mr. Adams Oshomole, and some others for alleged anti-party activities. The Edo State chairman of the APC, Anselm Jezwa, gave the confirmation at a caucus meeting involving leaders of the party, including the state governor, Mr. Godwin Obasaki. Mr. Jezwa says the state executive adopted the recommendation of a committee set up to investigate the crisis lingering in the party, which is also in line with the resolution of the local government chapter. The state executive adopted suspension with the recommendation for expulsion from the party. 